Hello Laker fans. I'm Malika Nichols with Center Court's Courtside View. First, let's recap the Lakers' two-game road trip starting with the Denver Nuggets in Denver. Led by Nikola Jokic's 31 points, 13 rebounds, 9 assists and 4 steals, the Nuggets defeated the Lakers, 110-99. Jamal Murray added 13 points, 4 rebounds and 6 assists for the Nuggets in the victory. LeBron James tallied 19 points, 7 rebounds and 9 assists for the Lakers in the losing effort. The Nuggets improved to 3-2 and two on the season, while the Lakers fell to 0-4, and four, the Lakers hit their second and final stop on the road in Minnesota where they debuted their 2022-23 Classic Edition uniforms which are reminiscent of their first-ever home uniforms they wore when the team originated in Minneapolis. LeBron James had 28 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists, and became the NBA's all-time leader in 20-plus point games as the Lakers fell to the Timberwolves. 111 to 102. Anthony Edwards recorded a game high 29 points, along with four rebounds, while Rudy Gobert added 22 points and 21 rebounds for the Timberwolves in the victory. Russell Westbrook tallied 18 points and eight rebounds for the Lakers in the losing effort. The Timberwolves improved to four and two, while the Lakers fell to zero and five. Enough of the losing convo. Let's talk about the first win for our Lakers that was paved by resiliency. It was a fun one at the Crypt. The Lakers welcomed Denver to Los Angeles Sunday night, and as a united front secured their first win this season after overpowering the Nuggets 121-110. Anthony Davis returned to the floor after missing Friday's game against the Timberwolves due to lower back tightness. He wasn't completely pain-free, but he could have fooled the home crowd. Davis had 23 points, season-high 15 rebounds, one block and one steal. The big fella got going early and didn't let up starting at the 5. In 37 minutes, he went plus 15 and garnered his third double-double in six games. Lonnie Walker buried a team-high three triples in Sunday's victory, posting his second-highest point total of the season. Walker ended Sunday's victory over Denver with 18 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 blocks and 1 steal over 35 minutes. He's now scored 15 or more points in 4 games this season. LeBron James posted his 5th game of 20 or more points in the win, leading the Lakers in both shots attempted and shots made. James is averaging 24.3 points, 7.3 assists, 6.7 rebounds and 2.0 steals over his last three games. With 26 points, LBJ led his team in scoring for the fourth time this year. He grabbed eight assists and six rebounds as well across 35 minutes, but the highlight of Sunday's game came from Russell Westbrook. Westbrook led the Lakers in bench minutes in Sunday's win, nearly notching his first triple-double of the season. Westbrook led the Lakers' second unit in scoring with 18 points, 8 rebounds and also finishing with a game-high tying 8 assists, which was a season-high mark. All of this in 32 minutes. Russ said after the game, I love seeing my teammates flourish. I get joy out of seeing my teammates do great. Coach Hem said following his first win, I want the success because I know what type of competitors I have in that locker room. This was the second matchup this week for LA and Denver, and the Lakers made some serious adjustments. Specifically, they improved their shooting significantly. Rejoice, Lakers fans! The media and Laker haters calling our Lakers the awful shooting. Ill-fitting, probably should be blown up team, will not go 0 and 82 this season after a 121 to 110 win over the visiting Denver Nuggets. Glad we shut them the hell up with this win. Westbrook and the Lakers had the crowd behind them Sunday night. The Lakers are now 1-5. The team looks to carry this momentum into tonight's game, where they will host the Pelicans. Tip-off starts at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Spectrum Sportsnet and NBA League Pass. And that was your Lakers 2022-2023 season recap from Center Court's courtside view. 
If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also follow us on all of our social media platforms. SoundCloud, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thank you for watching.